Right, hello. Um, just finished a video on uh, the new palms I bought, so if you haven't watched that, please do. Um, I'm not a big one for seeds. Um, I do do a few each year, but this is the small selection I've chosen this year for bedding. So we've got get a bit closer we've got an aster so that's a, just a mix that's only 25 pence um, nice bright mix there so we'll see like quite nice splash color in the borders zinnia quite a tropical one with the orange and red quite like the look of that I've never tried them ones before Rebecca again with the sort of I don't know burnt yellow orangey in really dark centers so an, an, another one i've never tried before so it might be interesting aquilegia i just uh saw the flowers and thought they looked a bit different so i'll give them a go as well sort of quite a unusual flower on them and then of course the standard coleus uh, so it's a rainbow mix um always reliable always come up get a good choice of colors when they come up and you can uh, divide them up and put them where you want perfect bedding plants the summer and obviously some people do grow them as house plants as well i don't generally bother i just start them from seeds each year so these are all from wilkinson's um at the time i brought these which is last week i believe um they were doing three for two so I bought the expensive ones, the pound ones all give us, I've got one free. And I also bought some cheaper ones and got the first, these are not all the ones I bought. We've got some vegetable seeds as well for the, the wife to play with. But yeah, so I do quite like Wilkinson's because you've got a little picture on the back of what the seed and looks like when it emerges so you don't get confused with um, any weeds that are coming up so you, you, it's a good little um, indicator there oh, that one ain't got one on yeah most of them do though so you've got the little picture of what to look out for as they come up um, yeah so they tend to be like I say reasonably priced from Wilkinson's and I've had a lot of success with uh, germinating stuff from there in the past so that is what I'm going to grow from seed. I, I don't need to do a video on actually doing that. I'll be doing some seed trays this afternoon and just uh, doing it like that and I'll prick them out as they get bigger and pot them up individually before they go into the ground. Um, yeah, that's, that's about it. So yeah, just a quick look at what seeds we're doing this year. Thanks for watching.